Welcome to Bridging Gaps, the business podcast sharing the challenges and stories of fellow business owners. Hello and welcome. I'm Deborah Levitt, your host. Today's episode is about your personality and whether you adopt a business persona within your business or not. Before we begin, though, I'd like to talk about last week's episode and the upcoming episodes. In last week's episode, I interviewed the freaking amazing Lenka Lutonska. Due to a few glitches, I didn't let you all know about it as I normally do. And so by keeping this week's a bit shorter and asking a question that really is on my mind, I know you'll have time to listen to Lenka as well. She definitely embodies being yourself and brings her warmth and personality to the table. And then over the next couple of weeks, there will be some bonus episodes. I have an exhibition stand at the Hampshire Business Expo, and I've teamed up with Richard Woods of the Lead Gen Academy, Jake Liddell of WP Aid, and Nell Optibeek from Action Coach to talk to you about the build up to the exhibition itself. It's on the 26th of February, so block time out in your diary to come listen to Richard, Nell, and Jake and see me at Stand 44. Coming up as well will be in an interview with the wonderful Richard Dwyer, former stuntman, gymnast, and successful entrepreneur, and the very inspirational Craig Goldblatt. But let's crack on now with today and your personality in business. There's been a few things over the last week that have got me thinking about this. To begin with, I've been listening to Penny Power OBE's book, Business is Personal. It resonates with me as Penny talks about business being personal. And this was the start of my thinking about it. I won't share much about the book with you as I'll be interviewing Penny this week, just after her book launch, and it will be much better hearing from her directly. But it got me thinking. Then I read an article about a young woman, Olivia Bland, who had shared her experience of being bullied during a job interview that took her to the brink of tears. She tells how she was then offered the job and decided to decline it, and then to share about the bullying. There are loads of comments on this post on LinkedIn, and as ever, everyone has their own view, some support, some don't, some question how much we really know because we're only hearing you know, one side of the story. However, there was one comment that really stood out for me, and it was the person who said that by sharing this, Olivia had taken the cause of women in business back 30 to 40 years and was showing that the stereotype of women being too emotional to be in business was true. And it made me wonder, have we actually moved forward far enough that you can be yourself and express your emotions in your job, whether you're male or female? Or do you still need to have that strong business persona? It's been true in the past that a man showing anger was likely to get respect, but a woman doing the same would be seen as a bitch. And I started to wonder whether things have really moved along or if we're all just talking about it, but the reality hasn't shifted. And I also was wondering at this question that had come up about whether there is still this perception that we have to hide our emotions if we're going to be successful businesswomen. And the next thing that happened was that I had some branding photos taken for my business and for the podcast. Like many people, I am not entirely comfortable with seeing photos of myself. So when I received some as a sneak preview, I shared them with some trusted friends and colleagues to get their feedback on whether they thought they were giving the right message across. To my surprise, the thing that they commented on most was how much my personality was reflected in the pictures, that I'm laughing and smiling and that the photos have captured the real me. And what they see is me and my personality. And they see that as a reflection of my business as well. So that made me think a little bit more. And then last but not least, I listened to a recording made by one of my clients today. The first step in the podcast launcher program is to do an audio brainstorm. And the first question is, why do you want your own podcast? 
My client's recording is of her answering this question. And the rule is you have to speak for at least 20 minutes. So she spoke for about 25 minutes. And in that time, She shared so much about herself and her life. Her personality just shone through and her fears and insecurities, worry about things like imposter syndrome, all covered up some of the other things that she was saying that I don't know if she fully appreciated how amazing some of the things that she has done and is doing are. And I realized as I listened to this, just how how actually touched I was that she had been willing to be that open. She knew I would be listening to this and that it hadn't held her back. She'd worried about whether she might be coming across as arrogant, whether she might be rude and reacting too strongly to some things that people say. And it made me think that it's her personality and her story that's going to make the difference for her future, not just the podcast, but her business as well. And I know we all hear that, and I've heard it lots of times, and everybody says you have to tell your story and let people connect with you. But today, I just, I think all of those things came together, and I felt it really strongly. And so, It made me ask the question, because you're probably thinking, well, you know, those are all very interesting, but what is your point, Deborah? And, And I have to admit that I don't have a point so much as a question. And I'd really love it if you could take a few minutes to just head to the podcast page on Facebook and share your thoughts, maybe answer some of these questions, just because it would be great to hear what people think and how they deal with their personality and expressing it in the business world, whether you're in a job, whether you're running your own business, whatever your circumstances are. So do you have a business persona? And does that business persona mask the real you? Or do you embrace yourself and your experiences and and your who you are, whether you're at work or whether you're at home and in, in personal situations? Or do you have slightly different versions of yourself or completely different? Would somebody who met you in the business world um, and was a personal friend not really recognize you in that in that other environment? Do you feel you have to hide your emotions? Do you think that we can be more open about how we're feeling now? Or do you think that they still have to be, I don't know, covered by fact and, and tucked away? In the show notes, I'll include a link to the podcast Facebook page. And as I said, I would really love to hear from you. Why not join or even be the first person there to start the conversation? And then head back and listen to Lenka's conversation from last week. I'll be back in a couple of days with the first Expo Build-Up conversation with Richard Woods. Have a great couple of days. I can't wait to hear what you're thinking on this and really be great to just start that discussion around our personality and how important it is and how we utilize it or how we might be scared to use it in the business world. Bridging Gaps, the business podcast, was produced by Deborah Levitt of Bridge Road Consultants Limited, with original music provided by Pete Dinley. You've been listening to Deborah Levitt on Bridging Gaps, the business podcast.